Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial. My name is Ben Morgan and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this effect here where you have an object and a final mesh and you want to render its wireframe. And the effect to do this is actually pretty simple and I'll just explain it uh, as best as I can. So let's get started. Let's make a new file and let me just start my screencast keys and okay so basically what we're gonna do is delete our cube and add in a monkey okay so we're doing a monkey for a couple reasons one it gives us more vertices to look at and it looks better in the final render and two because it's a more complex mesh and that will come into play later when we uh, make our final our secondary object that will be our wireframe. So basically, the trick to do this is to have your first model duplicate it and scale the second model up just a little bit so that it's just above or so that it's evenly above every part of the first model's uh, vertices. And basically, then all you have to do is add in what's called a wire material. It's straight inside a blender and uh, you'll be able to have your wireframe. It's pretty easy. So let's just do that then. Uh, first thing we're going to do is add a subsurf modifier to this and make the render uh, for it one. And we're going to set the shading to smooth. Okay. So it's just that. Next, just press shift D to duplicate it. And we have to do something uh, a little tricky here. You think you might just like scale it like that, and uh, you'd uh, be good, but it's n it's not okay. You can see here that when I scale it up, around here it's okay, but with complex places like the ear, it doesn't scale out like it should. That's because it's not scaling along its normals. It's scaling along uh, a median point, a median point. So we want this mesh to go out. So to do that, it's actually pretty simple. Tab in edit mode and press Alt S. And that will scale it everywhere along the normal, so along the direction that the face is pointing. So press Alt S, Alt S point zero zero five. And that will just scale it up enough so that if you uh, go into the object settings, enable uh, wire for the display type, you can see that everywhere around it, it is yeah, it's evenly uh, on top of the second object. There's nowhere where it's intersecting like it was before. Next, all you have to do is go into the materials for your wire object now. We can actually name that Su Suzanne underscore wire. I just control left clicked to name that and press new and enable wire. Let's make it a little darker. And one thing you have to do Oh, my computer's lagging up for some reason. Um, sorry about that. Uh, when my computer uh, decides to cooperate, what we're going to do is enable transparency, and uh, then we're going to turn the alpha down a little bit, but I'm not sure why it's not like that. Let me pause real quick. Okay, so sorry about that. My computer froze, but um, this is about where I just was. And uh, basically, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn down the color and enable transparency. Turn down the alpha a bit because I find that it looks best with these kind of models, uh, with these kind of wireframe model renders. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can chain, you can add a new material to the first object, but you don't really need to. Um, we can enable ambient occlusion and all that stuff just to make our render look a little bit better since the lighting's not even set up. And let's see how this looks. There we go. So actually, you can see our camera is not where we want it. So you could move your camera, but an easier way, an easier way to do it is, you know, you're scrolling with your middle mouse, middle mouse button. You can get it where you want in the viewport, and then press Control Alt Zero, Control Alt Zero on your numpad, and uh, you can get your camera right where you want it. And that's pretty nifty. So press F12. And you can see that we have a very nice looking final smooth 
transparent looking mesh around our object. And this is really cool, especially if you're uh, doing something like face modeling or something and you want to show off your good topology or something like car mod modeling. But yeah, it's actually something that a lot of people ask for because if you have a model and you can say, oh, this looks cool, but how good is it on the inside? How good is the topology? And that's very important and very professional um, or it's asked for a lot in professional work. And if you are uh, doing something like a portfolio, rendering with a wireframe is highly suggested, especially if you're showing off a model. So thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope you learned something, and subscribe if you have not. Thank you.